Okay, so what we have today is we've got the dishwasher that is uh, the killing wire on the bottom. You can see that. And that's because the dishwasher is connected to the uh, garbage disposal right here. See that hose right here? Okay, so a couple things we can do here. And the first thing is we want to check underneath here. You can see this red thing right here. This will be popped out if um, to get a focus on this. If that, uh, if it's also popped its own little breaker, you can push that back in and see if it works. Um, other thing is too, you can put an Allen wrench at the middle here, on the middle, and you can use it to rotate the uh, impeller system. So if you can get it to, if it's jammed, you can get it to move loose that way. Another thing is you can put um, a wrench down here. Sorry, it's so dirty. But um, you can see, I can get it to turn here. Push it down here, get it to, get it to rotate. Get to clear any sort of clog. Bad news is I've done all three of these things and it's still not working. So that tells me I can get it to work for just a second or two, but it means something else is wrong. And it's uh, popping the. Uh, it's actually popping the GFCI breaker on the uh, thing here. So when I try it, you see it like it goes to pop. That's because it's shorting out somewhere. So there's probably something wrong with the actual unit. So we may have to replace it. Alright, so now this is the new one. I'm going to unscrew this. You can see it's a really good way to see the, the breaker that typically pops it over. If it uh, something ever happens to where it over, I don't have to hold this with the other hand. Uh, but I'm going to hold it and then unscrew this part. See, so what you end up doing is you end up putting this on top and you just keep screwing it until it feels tight. And what's happening is it's wrapping around that copper uh, wire around the white one. And it's also protecting it, so you can't actually, you won't be able to touch the, the wire there because it's up in there, it's wrapped around, and it's tied inside this plastic protector. So I'll do the same thing on the black one too. Okay, here it is. So I tied these two together, put that in there, and I pulled the, the grinding wire up down through there and up in this, just wrapped it around this, then tighten this down so it doesn't run the move. And now we're good to go. So we're going to install the cover plate on, and we'll move on to the next step. Okay, I actually went ahead and pulled this one apart just to check. And that's exactly how they did it. They put the thing in just like this. They put it over top of it. You see how dirty it gets though. It really is amazing how dirty this thing gets over time. But I guess it makes sense when you're throwing that stuff through the through the garbage disposal and it just kind of builds up gunk. Alright, so I'll go and install this now. Alright, so we make sure we tighten this down tight, real tight. We want this it actually pulls it in and, and kind of takes care of this gap here and then now this is tight. So it seals it against that gasket, it looks like. All right, now what we need to do is actually install this thing. I'm going to put it back in the plumbing, make sure that we don't have any leaks there. And uh, we'll go from there. Okay, I want to show you kind of how this works. So if you push up in there and you have to find, see this thing here? There's a lip right there it goes up into, but there's three of them. One on this side, one on this side right here, and one on the back side. So you have to get to find that spot. And then if I push that far, it's going to actually fall off. So I'm trying not to do that. Um, it'll just fall out. But right now, I get on there and it's on this kind of this incline groove. And as you rotate it around, it tightens itself up. See? You see this little knob here? That's where it will stop. But what we can do, this has got a circle here. These little cylinders here are here, not here by accident. You actually put a screwdriver in here like that. Or like this if you need to. Just like this. Let's use this one. This small one to kind of show you. But you put this in here like this. See? And then you can use that. You hold this to twist it around to finish it. Keep to really tighten it down. So that's how that works. Then we'll, we'll just kind of adjust this. Make sure it's over the top of our pipe. And then we'll go from there. 
Okay, so here we have it. This piece went back on. There was the gasket that went down there, tightens around it. Same for this one. Reinstalled this. Tighten this down. Let's tighten it down a little bit more. So I'll go in here like this. I'm gonna tighten it down. I want to make sure it's tight. I suppose good. That's as far as it will go. <laughs> so now we just need to test it and see how it goes. One thing I like to do before I test it though is I like to go ahead and take a cloth, just wipe down underneath everything. Make for sure that there's no water there. Because what's going to happen is if we start running this thing, we want to know if there's a leak before we just assume everything's okay. And because uh, I'm not a professional, I know that I probably made a mistake somewhere or it's very likely. So I want to make sure that I can figure out where it is and uh, find it. And then that way I can uh, try to fix it before I let it go for weeks and stuff. So, okay, let's see what happens.